<laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I had that centered. All right, so I'm really hoping that I'm in focus this time because I just recorded this whole video and I was completely out of focus. Am I in focus? I really hope so. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jacob. Back at you with another video today. I am in Melbourne in my Airbnb, uh, just hanging out. Big Con weekend. Big Con actually starts tonight, and I'm so excited. If you guys haven't been following along on my Instagram, make sure you go and follow me at Jacob Golding. Um, but basically, last night I met uh, Ava Gutrowski, Scotty Sire, and Kristen McTee. Can you vlog? Yeah. Do you want, can you join me? Yeah, yeah. I've been recording this whole conversation. Hello. Hi, guys. I'm here with um, Ava. And Scotty. Hung out with them and VidCon hasn't even started and you know I've been invited to hang out with them through the event. By chance any of you are actually watching this just know how seriously grateful I am. Speaking of being in Melbourne, the process that all of you go through to get to anywhere via a plane is going through an airport, right? Leaving Tasmania is a big deal for all Tasmanians as you guys would know if you're from Tasmania. So if you're like me, which hardly any of you are, might I add, you would vlog this experience because it's massive. So going through the airport, a boring procedure that everyone has to do and most people hate, becomes something that a lot of people actually froth and love watching. Well, I do. I get off to it. Yeah, so every time I've been out of the state for the last six years since I've been doing YouTube, I have vlogged my travel. Most of the time that just consists of boring camera angles, but I really enjoy making this content. So I thought today I would teach you how to travel vlog with Jacob Golding. <laughs> so yeah, that's today's video. I hope you guys do enjoy and let's get into it. So. You wake up at 4am because you have to get the cheapest flight possible, which means you have to get up at 4am to be at the airport by 5 o'clock. So you get up, you struggle to be alive, you eat your food and you drink your coffee. Hot. <sighs> you drag your suitcase out of the house and making sure to film it from above to ensure that it's still there. Make sure you hold the camera behind your family's head when you give them your goodbye hug because it really lets the audience in and gives them a real interpersonal experience watching the video. Head bye to the fan. Right. Bye. Say, see you in a week. Make sure that you get some random driving shots that are completely irrelevant but because you're going to the airport, they become relevant. A dodgy shot of the airport sign never goes astray. Make sure you show getting your suitcase out of the car. Go up to the bag drop, film the bag drop. Sit the camera behind the desk and pretend you're not illegally filming the worker. Awesome, thank you. Say, head over to security. Say, but then you don't do it. Make sure you get a shot looking up through the security camera that you can speed up in post and look really snazzy. Say, time to relax. Time lapses. So many time lapses. Time to board. You line up. You complain about the line up. Muddle of people, because no one quite knows what's happening. When you get to the front of the line, you pretend you're not filming the flight attendant. Yeah, awesome, thank you. Illegally film on the tarmac. Well, that's only relevant in Tasmania because they're still living in 1972. <laughs> Let's go to Melbourne. Touch the outside of the plane next to the door for good luck. Illegally film the flight attendant. It's in the right side too, sir. Thank you. Again, time to take off, which means more time lapses. When you're in the air, get a quick shot showing how little leg room you have, and then complaining because you don't want people to hear you, and the type of person that is likely to put their seat down on a 55 minute cheap flight is probably gonna stab you, or ask to see the manager, and their name's probably Karen. Anyways, more time lapses, and it's time to land. So you get up and you illegally film the flight attendant again. Bye, have a nice day, see ya. The end. So if you guys, want to see that full length vlog of me coming to Melbourne and every other time I've done this process which has been multiple times on my channel so if, um, to save you guys sifting through all the bullshit that I have in my old videos I'll make a playlist of every full length travel vlog that I've ever posted across my two channels that's right because I have two channels I have a second channel more Jacob where I post um, more or less daily vlogs of me just living life, gaming stuff, whatever I really have that I don't want to post on this channel. Um, just kind of a more in-depth on me. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of stuff on my Instagram story to really give you guys that interpersonal feel. Because, you know, we're all friends here. Um, but yeah, so I'll put the link to that playlist in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, but yeah, if you guys, as I said before, if you guys are watching this because I met you at VidCon or you're watching this because of somebody I met at VidCon, thank you so much. And I really do hope that this experience is as magical and amazing as it has been so far and the event hasn't even started. So yeah, I do really appreciate you guys and I hope that this experience takes us further into the future or something. I don't know. I'm going. I can't do selfie shit. <laughs> Peace out. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, oh, God. Hi.